Hi everybody, David here from RVJedi.com. This is my first official vlog. Hope you enjoy it. Welcome and thank you again for watching. In this episode, we're going to talk about a couple of different things. We're going to talk about first, why RV? Why am I doing this? This is uh, an exciting thing for me. I want to share my reasons uh, for that with you all. Second, we're going to talk a little bit about errands today. Uh, not necessarily because they're fun, but because they're errands and they were things that I needed to get done for the RV. So I thought that would be pretty interesting, hopefully. And then the last thing I'm going to talk a little bit about is uh, kind of a shout out. Shout out to a couple of people who have inspired me along my way as I start this journey and uh, some of the blogs that I follow uh, because they're very interesting and maybe you'll find them interesting as well. Why RV? Well, for me, it started a long time ago. I have had a fascination with these things for a while. Um, and I kept thinking one day, one day, maybe I could do it. Back in 2013, uh, there was a really cool travel trailer show down at Buellton uh, in California, where I used to live. And I stopped by and saw some vintage uh, trailers, some that folks had spent hours and hours uh, rehabbing and remodeling, and they were fantastic. Uh, I ran into one person in particular who had a really cool um, RV and a setup, and I'll talk to, to talk about her in a little bit. But um, she kind of inspired me to start looking and things like that. And uh, initially, I thought I was going to get a tow along, uh, you know, one of those vintage ones like a Scotty or something, a Shasta, and then do a lot of work on it and get it the way I really wanted it. But that also meant that I'd have to probably get a new truck or get a truck to tow it. And um, so I wasn't quite ready to do all of that. And so for years, I just kind of kept watching and watching, uh, you know, used to look online to see a lot of full time RV uh, videos. Uh, watch tiny house shows, love tiny house shows. Uh, and so the whole idea uh, was ingrained in me for a long time. And then, you know, about a year ago, I guess I got real serious about it and started to go to a couple of RV places and look and still didn't find the right unit. Uh, and then the first part of July, uh, I finally got a call from um, an RV dealer, uh, Camping World, shout out to them. They were really good to me. And uh, the unit was a 2004 uh, Itasca Spirit. And there was just something about this one that felt right, the timing all aligned. Uh, and so I pulled the trigger. And so I started uh, my journey. Right now, because I have a brick and mortar kind of a job and can't really live full time yet, uh, I'm just testing it out, but pushing myself so I go at least twice a month. Uh, but eventually, um, the idea is to think about going full time. I think the first thing that was really interesting that I noticed when I came back after my first trip is I was sitting in my apartment uh, and I was looking around and I realized I had a whole bunch of stuff, extra stuff. I'm not so sure I need all of the extra stuff, uh, especially after living uh, at least for the weekend um, in about what 150, 250 square feet. So it has gotten me thinking a lot about uh, how much stuff we all need uh, and it's going to vary for different folks but for me uh, I think I'm leaning towards uh, full-time RVing at some point so we'll have to see. Part of today was uh, about running errands and errands primarily for the RV. One of the things that I noticed initially, because I have a corner cut bed on my RV and I was, uh, it was a queen size bed, queen short. And so I was really confused initially about, you know, what kind of uh, sheets I could get. Do I need special cut sheets and all of that? Uh, and so I initially bought a an inexpensive sheet set just to see if it worked and it worked fine for me. Uh, and so now I was about 
it was about maybe upgrading the sheets and getting a better mattress cover and things like that. So that was what I did a lot of today. Uh, had to get my hairs cut. I know you can't really tell, but yes, I do have to get my hairs cut on a regular basis. Uh, a big shout out to Brielle, the best barber in uh, Tallahassee. Uh, she hooks me up all the time uh, and it was funny when I got my RV because usually I get my hairs cut and I call them hairs usually I get my hairs cut on Saturday but the first time I got my RV and the first time I went out it was my normal time to get a haircut so I had to wait an extra week so that I could get in rhythm because the plan right now is to go out every other week so I, I get my hairs cut every other week uh, that I'm not out on the road. So uh, she hooked me up again and, and that was part of the errand running. Um, but then, you know, just lots of little things, uh, you know, for the RV. It feels like uh, I'm buying a lot of stuff, but it's it's just stuff that I need to get things going and, and hopefully it'll settle down some um, and it'll be more about the travel. But right now it's still setting up the rig and getting everything that I need. After running errands, stopped by here at the RV to just check in, drop off some stuff. It's hot out here, uh, close to 100 degrees, uh, and the unit looks pretty good. So here it is, my first casualty, my French press. I opened up the uh, cabinet and it fell out and broke. So I'm gonna have to get a new one. Gotta have my coffee. Off to my next errand. I want to give a little love to some folks who have inspired me throughout the years as I go through this now. Uh, I think back to a lot of things that they've said, things I've watched, uh, and just want to say thanks to them. Uh, Lori Summers is the first one. Uh, remember earlier I talked about going down to Buellton and seeing some of the uh, trailers there? Uh, she was somebody who I stumbled upon there, met and we stayed in touch. Uh, she's been a great inspiration. Uh, you can find her at uh, the campers and glampers of SoCal on Facebook, a great, uh, a great group of folks. Uh, and uh, I want to just say thank you very much, Lori. One day we'll be in the same state and uh, hook up uh, with our RVs and trailer and, and have some wine. Yeah. Uh, the other uh, folks that I want to uh, share with you uh, is uh, or are uh, Nikki and Jason from Gone with the Winds. Uh, I saw them first on HGTV. They were looking for a uh, an RV to live full time in, and I thought it was kind of cool and followed them. Right now, I think they are living on a boat, uh, but you can uh, find them gone with the wind uh, winds.com, I believe. Uh, also, uh, a big shout out to Do It Justice, and that of course is Michael and Jenny. Uh, they bought a Class C and then remodeled it and. Uh, I've been following them. Uh, when I actually told uh, the world and, and told some folks that I was going to do this, I wrote to them uh, to see if they had any advice and they actually wrote me back. Uh, I'll post their letter uh, on my um, website, which is of course rvjedi.com. They were really cool uh, and I look forward to staying in touch with them. Uh, check them out when you get a chance. That's Do It Justice. Uh, pretty cool name as well. Um, also, uh, Technomadia. That's uh, Chris and Cherie. Uh, they also wrote me back when I reached out to them. Uh, I have followed them for years as well. Uh, they uh, live in a converted bus, so it's really cool. Uh, check them out at uh, technomadia.com. Uh, and then uh, when I started my blog and uh, I was trying to figure out how to do it and all of this, uh, I ended up going with WordPress. And one of the first people who uh, followed me was a woman named Donna Catterick. I think I s said it correctly, but Donna will probably let me know. Uh, she was my first uh, follower. Uh, she takes amazing photos. Um, it's uh, one place that you really want to spend some time with looking at. Her, um, her website is always back roads uh, and she also lives full-time in an RV I believe uh, but a really cool woman so far uh, and 
her photos are phenomenal so go check her out if you can uh, I'll add uh, some of her information uh, in the notes underneath this as well and then uh, Ray Carruthers uh, I think that's how I, I say that one sorry if I'm butchering your name um, she used to uh, have a, an RV called Miranda. Uh, that was hers, and she lived full-time in that. Uh, she's now overseas, but um, just truly, again, a really inspirational person about living full-time in an RV. Uh, I followed her blog for a long time, and uh, uh, many years ago, I reached out to her for some advice, and she was very happy to share it. One of the things I've noticed so far uh, in the RV community is that a lot of people are, are willing to share advice. So uh, I hope to pass along some of that as well as I go through my stuff. And uh, if you see stuff that you want to share, please go ahead and hit me up. I really appreciate it. So that's going to wrap up this first uh, vlog, episode one. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't know if I'm going to do this every month, every week, uh, but at least the first one is done. Uh, if you want to get a hold of me, please make sure you reach out to rvjedi.com. You can also uh, reach me on the gram. That's the Instagram for those at home, but I like to call it the gram. Uh, on Twitter and on Yahoo, all at rvjedi. And then on Facebook, you can find me at Vader. Raider, Raider uh, and then I have an RV group there uh, for RV Jedi so uh, thank you very much make sure you subscribe and uh, here's to the first month of RVing I hope to have uh, many more exciting ups and downs uh, with this uh, whole new adventure thanks for watching